Cotton Cars Direct. Let's spend some time today with the 2007 BMW X5 3.0 SI. Next time you're going to find BMW's familiar inline 3 liter 6 cylinder engine. Now in this particular tune it makes 260 horsepower. It doesn't necessarily sound like a ton for a car this size, but when you consider the fact that it's made into a 6 speed uh, automatic transmission, it feels a whole lot faster than what the uh, statistics would tell you. But uh, the automatic is routed all four wheels as well. You have full time all wheel drive. But this was a brand new model for 2007, so let's get up close because I'm really impressed with this car. Just take a walk around to give you an idea of the condition and also point out some of the features on the exterior of this uh, X5. You do a front and rear park assist with a uh, rear camera, but you see the park sensors mounted across the lower part of the front bumper. Uh, you have xenon headlamps up here. Uh, they are adapted, they do swivel uh, at night when you do drive. Now these are a pop-up washer, they pop up on both sides. But take a walk around the side here. Uh, this is the SI model, uh, which does come with the uh, Bridgestone Duo H HL tire. These are a, uh, a newer tire, definitely. They're perfectly quiet on the road. The only reason I say that they're not uh, brand new is because we did not install them. Uh, 255R18 up here. Nice looking wheel, but take a look down the side. The reflection speaks volumes of the car. Uh, another small little blemish I wanted to just point out here. You've got a uh, little, little chip there along the seam line there. Usually would be a uh, painless dent removal piece there. But since it's right on the crease, it's very, very difficult to see unless you walk right up on it. The whole rear uniform condition, excellent throughout. You can see the park sensors all the way across the bumper. Got a rear view camera mounted here. Copper X5 badging. But coming to the passenger side, remarkably, it's almost the exact same little ding in there. But aside both of those, nothing else to fault. Really a beautiful truck. The clamshell style tailgate design keeps in line with the uh, previous X5. Got two different uh, easy lift and height if you just want to throw some in real quick. Uh, and then what converts to probably one of the best uh, tailgate platforms. But uh, look under the floorboard here, obviously everything is in excellent condition. But you'll find full size spare along with the full jack assembly and tools. The interior of this X5 has virtually nowhere. There's a tiniest little bit of wrinkling on the fringe of the bolster here, but other than that, everything is in brand new condition. It smells new, actually smells still like a brand new BMW, but you have a power seat on both sides. Easy step in height, nice and low. I actually drop into this, I'm a six footer. You've got a power tilt and yeah, telescope right now, steering wheel. Filming the power tilt and telescope uh, steering unbelievable wheel vantage the point, one that carries have. through from the original X5, as well as a automatic uh, setting for your Xenons there. Just as an overview of the dashboard here, uh, as I said, you know, it's a BMW, all the materials, everything feels super high quality. Uh, sport style steering wheel, you've got a three spoke wheel here. It is heated, which is nice uh, in the cold months. Uh, automatic wipers up front, hit this button. Wipers will give you a one wipe to confirm that they're working. Up here you do have the BMW iDrive system. Now this will control your uh, entertainment, that's any of your audio uh, entertainment. Uh, your navigation system, uh, that's going to show your navigation uh, and also just the map overlay. You have some of your climate functions in there as well and communication is going to link you with your phone uh, through the Bluetooth system. Uh, looking below that you've got a dual zone climate control here, heated seats for both front passengers and then right below that you've got the uh, CD player in dash as well as your park distance control. Uh, DTC is your dynamic traction control, that's traction and stability control. Uh, this button right here will activate hill descent which is essentially a cruise control for driving down the side of a mountain, and then this is a uh, electric hatch release. Right there you can see the backup camera pulling into a spot real time. This is uh, the shifter here, somewhat of a new uh, style to the BMW family. Uh, just to put it in park, you hit this button here, but to put it in drive, you just press this button on the side, pull it back for drive, push the button again and push it forward for reverse. Once you're back in drive, you can pop it to the left for the sport mode, and then you can push forward to shift down, pull back to shift up, and you can use it as a manual. Very easy to use, and it really does become very intuitive. Despite its dimensions, the rear seat of the X5 is very, very comfortable. You're also outfitted with a uh, third and fourth zone climate control down here, as well as heated seats for your rear occupants on the outboard sides. Nice big console here. And one of my favorite parts of this car is the panoramic moonroof. Pretty amazing.
underway in the X5. It's a drama-free event. Nothing intimidating about this car. It's very comfortable to drive. Uh, everything's really soft to the touch, but you still, like in any BMW, you get a nice amount of feedback uh, in the steering. Uh, it's very responsive. It's actually shocking for the uh, size of this engine. But the uh, lack of displacement also uh, improves your fuel economy. So when you consider this car really in 80% of its applications feels just as fast as the uh, V8 model, it doesn't really illustrate too much of its need. But the visibility is excellent. The gauge cluster is probably one of the most simple out there today. The navigation system's right up here. You can see the screen right here. You got Sirius satellite radio, uh, dual zone climate. Got my temperature dialed right in. And the steering wheel feels great. It's really quiet. We're going at a nice, decent clip, but there's no body roll in these cars. Uh, the tires are nearly brand new, so you don't hear anything. It feels really good to drive this truck. Just to give you an idea, the six cylinder acceleration is more than adequate. This is no small truck. And perfectly comfortable. It's got a layback. It's that nice of a truck. It drives so nice on the highway. I've always been a huge fan of the Range Rover. And BMW owned Land Rover at the time that they designed the current generation Range Rover. Um, I would like to think that they use the exact same technology and performance, uh, I guess, parameters uh, for this car because this car feels like an evolution more of a Range Rover than an X5. It's so silky smooth. It's absolutely quiet. It's great at speed. It's very, very nimble. And this is the 3 liter. I don't think you need to go with the V8 in this car. It is more than ample handling and excellent color combo. I really can't think of a better sport utility out there in the luxury market right now. I got two great pieces of information here. Uh, one is a copy of the Auto Check History Report. Car scores a 91, which is out of the range, so you're talking extra credit excellent. Uh, one previous owner. Uh, beyond that, really no information, no previous accident history. Uh, and it shows that there was never even a lien against this car, so whoever had it paid cash. Oh, I've got a copy of the BMW uh, History Report as well. Uh, it shows space gray metallic over black Nevada leather. Uh, the car's four-year 50,000-mile warranty that comes from BMW uh, expires on March 20th. 2011, so you still got a great amount of time left on that. The maintenance is included from BMW as well. Check us out online. You'll find us at ChicagoCarsDirect.com where you'll find 60 pictures of this X5. Also, check out our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash ChicagoCarsDirect. Thanks for spending some time with us. We'll see you next time.